Yeah, today I'm gonna be drawing. Uh, I'm gonna be making up some fish. Uh, to the little fish species. I'm gonna be making up some fish spe species today. Is the plan. Also, I have a coffee again today, and if you think I'm gonna be ever streaming without a yummy coffee by my side, then guess again. I had that cool little alien sign I found on the Google because I thought it looked cool. And I added this box because last stream when I was drawing, I noticed that chat blended in with the with the background here, so you couldn't really read it. I added this little box here, dude. On Google Photos or whatever, when you if you take a picture and then you try to download it, it doesn't automatically download as a PNG. It downloads as like a high C or <laughs> what. Is that what it's called, the file, or is that the name of an orange juice? Maybe both? When did they add that, by the way? When did they add those new formats? I, re I was- yeah, so like I was saying, I was trying to make a collage, and I downloaded a bunch of, um... A bunch of pictures I took of my doodles. And I didn't, like, realize- I didn't realize that they were all downloading as this, like, high C format. Or whatever it's called. And so when I go to like, like, um, put them, put them in, into the art program. They just don't insert because the file format isn't supported. And so I had like a billion freaking pictures on my, on my, in my downloads that I couldn't even use no more. Okay, let's start off, I'll start off with the first fish I kind of did here, like this ghost fish. I'm sure there's like a fish already called the ghost fish, but but uh, basically what my idea with this with this fish is he's got a face that looks like a like he's a, a ghost that's always in scare mode, and he can hold his arms like that, and it looks like like a little ghost is haunting you. Do fish have tongues? I kind of drew him having. Like, open mouth, like, it's kind of looks like a tongue, but I don't... Do fish have tongues? I can't recall. Maybe. And then we'll do... This classic... Ghost pose. Do you guys also have a ghost pose? Like, when you're going to scare someone, like, pretend like you're a ghost, jump out and say boo, do you guys have a little pose, like, a little scare pose that you do? Yeah, let me, let me know, is, um, because I know when I press my little short key, key buttons on my, uh, on my tablet here, I know it picks up on the mic, usually, but, uh, I don't know if that's annoying or if people don't mind, so... It'd be, uh, be nice to get some feedback on that. Okay, I like this. Ooh, wait. That's good, I like this. I like making the mouth more pr 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 pronounced here. Head first, of course, so we know which way he's going to be facing. I'm basically doing this. I'm doing one where he's, like, swimming around. This is kind of a like neutral swimming position right here. I'm thinking this is maybe like a, like a defense mechanism kind of thing. For like scaring off at other fish. And that's also part of why it has the name ghost fish. Not just because it looks like a ghost, but because it behaves like one too. Now I did take some inspo from the hammerhead shark. That's kind of, um, the idea I had in mind when, uh, making his, the shape of his head here. You might be able to pick up on the resemblance there, but, uh, for those of you that didn't catch it, that's, um, that's where it's, um, it's was taken from. Yep. Uh, this ain't, this ain't right. This ain't right. It's not looking right. Ooh, you know what? 
other eye popping out. There we go. This is more like it. It looks kind of like kind of, kind of dragon-like. He gives a little bit of dragon energy. Do you guys feel that? I think I'm feeling that with this guy. Like imagine this. Imagine you're in a cave. Imagine you're in a cave finding the treasure at the top of the mountain, and you see this guy, and then boom, in your face, fire, and you're dead, burnt to crisp, burnt to a crisp. Looks more like a feather, but you get the idea. I wonder if I should just... <laughs> Dang. I don't know if I... I don't know if I like complete void mouth, or do I prefer with little tongue sticking out? I'm not sure. Because I feel like this is kind of more scary, kind of like more like a ghost. Because when you see pictures of ghosts and they're saying boo... They, they, they don't have like um they don't have little tongue sticking out they usually look like this I feel like this is more like gasping for air kind of mouth more than okay design update no tongue sticking out I love in uh, drawings just having the eyes sticking out from the head. That's why I, I draw- I like to doodle my fish character a lot. It's because his eyes are like bulging out of his head. Oh, this is kind of like a ghost- ghostly pose. This gives a little- These little guys. Kind of look like little feet. Even if like all my letters are upperca uppercase, I always like making the eye lowercase. I usually, when I write uppercase I's, I, I write them like this, like a lowercase L. And I don't know, I don't know if this is, if it was my notebook, but basically in middle school, we were doing notebook checks, which is where everybody would get someone else's notebooks and we'd go and check to see if they had all the, all their stuff there. And one time the teacher was like, okay, if you have it, you know, if you have any questions, just ask. And someone said th this person's, um, this person's eyes look like, look like an L's. I can't tell, I can't tell if it's an I or an L. Should I mark this as wrong? Because th they had to, like, read to check to make sure something was there or whatever, something like that. And I feel like it was probably my notebook. And the, the teacher just said, uh, just, you just use your best judgment, you know? And I have no- you know, I don't remember <laughs> if I, like, had points off or something. I don't remember at all, but I feel like it was probably about my notebook. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was- maybe it was someone else. Little raindrop ghost. <laughs> Since I have a bottom view, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a top-down view as well. And from this angle, you can't see his scary ghost mouth. You can only see his little fish lip sticking out. What in the glebe? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought something like fell into my coffee, but no, it's just like a... It's just like an ice cube that melted to be really tiny. Alright, let's figure out some colors. I feel like it's pretty kind of clear what I'm going to be doing for the colors. Ghost, you tell me I'm going to make a ghost fish and not make it like a some kind of pale color. <laughs> I'm wondering kind of what shade the shade I'm going to go for. This pink is kind of freaky. I feel like it, it'll feel too fleshy if I use that one. I'm thinking a purple. Maybe more of like a like a blue purple. Oh yeah, I like that. Structure-wise, this looks more kind of coral reef fish to me. Maybe not like coral reef, but maybe cave fish. Maybe cave fish esque. Basically, water you know that's uh, closer to the surface is what I is what I see this guy swimming in. 
Like, I do want to say this is this is not a very big fish either. I feel like you probably tell that by how it looks. He doesn't get. I don't feel like he doesn't give big fish kind of vibes. But this is like a smaller little guy. Oh, come on, artist posture going on there. Slouched over. But no, I gotta you know I gotta remember to sit back, lounge, lounge out a bit. Still, I'm like craning my neck. I'm craning my craning my neck by habit here. I think I just color this on one layer. I've been doing a lot of coloring stuff on one layer. You know what? No. Maybe I'll switch it up a bit. Two layers. Just to kind of get crazy, just kind of switch it up. This is like ghost- this is ghastly. This is ghost-like. Red could be evil. Ooh, that's evil, dude. I don't know, is this too evil? I feel like this might be a bit too evil for what I'm going for. I think I'm gonna stick with the purple. I wanna know what that instrument is. The one where they used to make like um like ghostly sounds. Like when you listen to Halloween music and stuff, there's usually like this uh how would you describe it? How would you describe the instrument? I feel like how would you describe it? I think it was like, ooh. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that was like a good. I don't think that was a good example at all of how it sounds. But it's like, oh man. It's like wobbly, woobly kind of sound. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I want to know what instrument that is because I love that. I love that sound. <laughs> Alright, that's the, um... That's the base shading there done. Do you guys have, like, a favorite fish? Because I know I do. <laughs> I love mud skippers. I think those are not amphibious. I'm pretty sure those are fish, but I love mud skippers so much. Mudskippers and uh, and hog suckers. I love those kind of things. They have like, these little things on their on their bellies that like they suction cup to to various surfaces. Like how goofy is that? Why do you need to be doing all that? Oh, <laughs> pinfish is that what they're called? Those little fish that make a little hole in the ground all together and they just kind of like st stick their heads out and stuff. I love those as well. <laughs> oh, I love this little guy. Oh, wait, what if I did... Hold on. Oh, that's kind of- that's kind of like crazy, right? I kind of feel like it, it only makes sense to have like the ghost fish in kind of like a darker area. I am like a rendering expert, but uh... You know, if, if it looks cool, it's usually that's kind of like my rule, rule, rule of thumb. And I don't really uh, care too much about the uh, realness of it. Oh my gosh, the other day I had such like a. I took a nap and I had such a vivid dream about um, seeing my, my friends from San Diego. Like, I, I was just hang we were just hanging out, getting up to some mischief. And it was so, like, vivid and real. And I woke up so disoriented. I was like, what? Tell me I'm not in San Diego hanging out with my friends right now? <laughs> it was all just a dream. I was gonna like, oh man. <laughs> Cause, you know, I miss those guys, of course. Do you guys have like super vivid dreams or not really? Because I feel like I use I have a lot of vivid dreams. And it's always jarring or sometimes even exhausting waking up from them. Because like, okay, I already did all this crazy stuff and now I have to wake up and go do other stuff. Like, give me a break. I need to get some some rain boots real bad. 
I need to start uh, getting, getting, getting some rain boots and jumping in the fun, the big fun puddles. Because when it rains out and you see a big puddle on the sidewalk, you're telling me you don't want to like jump around and splash in that? Oh my gosh. These shoes that I that I got, um, that uh, they were spe they specifically said on them that they were waterproof shoes, and I got them because I needed them for for my job. I was going to be working outside in the in the in a garden, so I was going to need some uh, some shoes that could tank the weather. And I'm like, okay, these ones are like they look sturdy, they look weatherproof, so I got those. And like frame one that it rained, like it was like a heavy, heavier rain kind of day. It barely lasted a freaking second out there. Like got my feet were soaked almost immediately. It was like t oh, come on, <laughs> you know, like you advertise this thing to do like one in one way as waterproof shoes, and they can't even handle a little bit of mud and rain. Ridiculous. When you guys were a kid, it was like... Uh, it, it, and if you, like, got a starter pet, as they say. If, like, your parent got you a starter pet, what pet was it? Was it, like, a hamster, or... Or was it a fish? Because I think my starter pet was a was a fish. I had, like, um... I had a little fish tank in my room with... With guppies, and those little... Like, weird-looking frogs. Like they come up like one once a once or twice a day to get some air. And they just kind of float around. I had a couple of had a tank with guppies and then a couple a couple of those. And one time, one of the frogs went missing. Like we were, it was um, it was gonna be tank cleaning day. And um. We realized there was only one frog in there. We're like, where'd the other frog go? And uh, never found out. I actually just have no idea where it went. And that second frog did not have a. Did not. Let's say he didn't make, meet a good fate, per, uh, perhaps I should say. Um, yet, uh, he died somehow and then. The fish started eating him, woke up one day, looked over, and, uh, there's the fish eating- eating the frog. <laughs> By the way, guys, um, beta fish need a pretty- pretty decent-sized tank. Don't put it- <laughs> do not put your beta fish in a little tiny tank, like those ones that they advertise to you, where you, like, put them on your desk and it's like this itty-bitty two-inch-by-two-inch cube. Do not put a beta fish in, in that. That is... <laughs> not good for them at all. And they will be miserable in there. If you're gonna... I feel like if you're gonna get a fish, don't think of it as like a... easy starter pet, because they are a lot of work. Just as, as any pet is, really. It's kind of like the same with hamsters, too. Like, hamsters love to burrow and stuff, so they need a lot of, um, they need a lot of room with, like, bedding for them to be able to dig a little hole, dig a little tunnel system. But, uh, most tanks or, or cages are pretty, pretty little. They don't give you, give you a lot of room to put a bunch of, um, bedding in there. I'll do that cool little glow. Because I feel like it only makes sense for a ghost fish to give a ghostly glow. Okay, I just... Did I have to do even do these lines at all? Could have just done a little... A little ghostly blur. <laughs> I didn't even need to do those. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Are fish like... Are there fish that are nocturnal and and dayturnal? What do you, what's it called when stuff is is awake in the morning time? I don't I don't know. 
are the two fish do that or are they just awake whenever? But uh, you know, this one will be nocturnal, naturally. Ghosts only come out at night, everybody knows that. And I think their kind of method is, you know, they have like that open mouth so they can catch krill and shrimp and not shrimp, maybe shrimp are too big, I don't know. To catch little organisms. Yeah, it's kind of like a defense thing. It'll make itself, it'll try to make itself look a little bit bigger. The little ghost pose. Um, yeah. I think that's that fish done. But, uh, you know, basic idea with this one. It's got like a big mouth. Kind of like a net. And, um, it goes, it lives in like swamp. I think this one's kind of swamp fish like. So I'll say it lives in a swamp and, you know, with the. They get lots of flies, little kind of baby bugs and stuff that fly around. And a lot of them, you know, might fly into the water from time to time. And this this guy will go and uh, swoop them all up. I wanted the, uh, the cheeks to be like transparent or translucent. And then it'll have its big gaping maw over here. Lip sticking out. I'm thinking should he be showing a little gum? Or is that too like risque? I think for now we'll go no gum. He's also got these little teeth in the middle here. I want to make him a little, a little bit more um, a little bit more plump. This one, this one look like from this angle. <laughs> from here, you can see his little, his little swimming fins. And then I want to add some like, like a dragonfly, just some other kind of bugs. Hmm, I think I should look up some like green fish to kind of get an idea. What kind of color scheme I can I can use for this guy? What in the world? This one looks crazy. Hold on. Here. Are you seeing this? Is this is this edited or? Oh wait. Okay, so <laughs> so I'm realizing now it's just kind of the perspective of the thing. I thought this had like a I thought this had like a huge head. I thought the head on this guy was, like, absolutely massive. But he's just... I mean, they kind of have a big head, but... It's just like a big fish in general, but I thought this fish had just like this massive cranium here. But, um... No, he's just kind of holding it up to the... Camera. <laughs> he's just holding it up to the camera so the head looks bigger when he holds it like that. <laughs> Okay, uh, never mind, guys. <laughs> I want these to be a bit trans transparent. You may be thinking, okay, if these are transparent, then why can't we see his body back here? And it's because, you know, it's because I didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that uh, when I was making this guy, so. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> of course, blood pouch in the back. Alright, I think this is done. This weird little bug catcher fish. He goes around, catches any dead or alive bugs that he finds in the water. <laughs> 